AJ, what's your favorite book? Do you have a favorite book? Yeah. What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book to read? What book do you want to read? Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is your favorite book? Yeah. Yeah? I can agree with that because you love this book. <laughs>
y mayor tiempo posible. <laughs> I know that was probably terrible. All right, chimpanzees for tea. He really likes this story too. So as a little kid, he's um his mom sends him to the store with a shopping list, and he has to remember everything. Then the list blows away, and so he's trying to remember, but then he starts to replace um the list with things that's not actually on the list like bunch of carrots and all of that so eventually he changes that well let's see which one is it uh tasty cheese i think that one is the one that switches to chimpanzee yeah so yeah so he ends up switching all of those this one is another book from my childhood Donald's day in the kitchen. So Donald's getting up and he's trying to prepare breakfast, but he fails miserably at it. All right, and so then AJ's favorite book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and you can tell it is his favorite because it is wrinkled, and I've taped it up, and it's and he's just steady stacking books, and so yes, yeah, so I've taped it up. And it's ripped there. I got tape there. <laughs> and yeah, just got it all taped because he had to pull the whole thing apart. Or at least Amari did. But yeah, he loves this book because this book, um, there's a video on YouTube of the actual book in the story. So they sing through the song. And yeah, so he's pretty much learning this book from singing the song and he grabs the book and he follows along each page as the song is going um so yes yeah, so i'm feeling like this is his favorite book and this is going to be the first book that he actually learns to read on his own i'm going to actually show y'all the first book i learned to read and so this one is the second one this is chicka chicka one two three then I have some other books from the Imagination Library. This is from when he was younger because they give they send books based on the age. So when you sign them up, of course, you put their birth date and everything, and they send you books, you know, according to their age. So as AJ has grown, he's gone from these types of books, um, you know, to these. So they send books that um that are appropriate for his age so this one of course does spanish and colors and other things you know animals and things that start with those letters so these are like the transportations he likes this one this one is the book where i actually taught him sun because i would go ouch hot hot <laughs> and he used to think that was so funny but now he can actually go through and make all the sounds of all the different transportations all right, and so then I have some more books here. I'm not going to go through all of these, but this is just another example of all the books that I've gotten through the Dolly Parton program. That was on colors. Um, yeah, so these are the other smaller ones. Now, this one I actually bought myself because I love this book. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? <laughs> I see a yellow horse looking at me. So yeah, so now AJ's grabbing some books. Now some of these older ones obviously are the ones from when I was little. Yeah, and I like this book too. This book, y'all, is so sweet. It is so sweet. I'm not going to tell you like what it's about because you, it's one of those books that you have to like read on your own and read it all the way through to the end. Yep, these are old too. But yeah. But it's one of those books that you have to read to the end. And then when you do, you're like, oh my god. Alright, and then coming into their room, there's more books. And yeah, the room is a mess. But don't worry, we're going to clean it up before bed. So here's another big book. So the other one is on letters. This one is on numbers. So AJ's going to step on it. So yeah, so it shows different things and the numbers. So what it looks like to have three flowers or three babies, three ducks, three cars, three marbles. So over here, I have a basket full of books. And this one, um, yeah. So this one also came from the Dolly Parton program. This one I actually bought. And I bought this one at TJ Maxx, I think. And 
it's like it's well uh, it's not like falling apart it is falling apart it's falling apart so yeah so it's just a big book full of bedtime stories um so yeah so it's something for me to sit in here in the room with the boys and just read little stories to them and then you know get them all settled for bed kiss them good night and deuces go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> we got good night moon um yeah that's one that i bought from walmart because i love that one too this one looks like it came out of a cereal box but it's still wrapped up um yeah so some other books most of these um like i said are just from the um dolly parton program so there are lots of those okay like i said i signed aj up for that program before he was born he is three now and he gets a book every month so yes he has lots of books from that poke from that program and this one about this one too before he was born I love this book I love you daddy so yeah ow all right so these are some of the books from when he was younger these oh, well actually this is from the um baby einstein program um because i tried that one too because they sent like you know they sent books like these and you can actually do like activities and lessons with them and it, they came with um they came with like activity cards and things like that but i eventually canceled the program because i i just i got tired of paying for it um because y'all I'm, I'm a cheapskate i want to be able to do stuff with as less money as possible and that's why i like um the dolly parton program because um it's free you just sign up and you get your books i love my daddy because quiero a mi papá porque so yeah, so these are from when he was um, smaller, of course. Where's my nose? So this one, learning, you know, the different body parts. And, um, and it has a little mirror in here to point out their little, their little face. And there I am on my cowboy's case phone. So that's those books. So let me show you the book that I learned to read first. The first book that I learned to read. Let me go. AJ, you running laps? Yeah. Goodness. All right, so over here on this side of the room, and that's where I was just at, so now I'm just over here on this end. So I got more books. Um, Most of these are books from when I was little or like this one after i started teaching because i liked um the david books from when i worked at the um daycare now the book that i first learned to read is this one right here i can do it myself look at how old it is oh my gosh yes so i learned to read this book this is the very first book i ever learned to read all by myself and I can actually see why, because this whole book is like my whole attitude. I can do it myself. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's just going through talking about all the different things that you can do by yourself. Um, I can put my toys away. I can do it myself. I can pour my juice. I can button my buttons. I can comb my hair. I can water my plants. I can put on my boots. I can write my name. So it just goes on with all the different things that you can do all on your own. And those are the things that I like to be able to do on my own. Um, Cause I learned how to tie my shoe cause I wanted to be able to do it myself. So I asked my dad, I was like three years old, AJ's age. Right. And I was like, how do you, yeah. can you show me how to tie your yeah. shoe? And he showed me and I got it. And I was like, thank you. That's what I needed. But I learned how to read this because of the pictures. Like, the pictures, I know that, oh, they're cleaning their room. So I know the words say, I can put my toys away. So 
So this way, ah, I can pour my juice. And so eventually I knew what was said on each page and I would match those words with the actual print here on the pages. So then I learned that that is I can pour my juice. So yeah, so that's how I learned how to read this book. So yeah, so other books that I got in here. Uh, I love this one too. If you give a mouse a cookie, um, I think I have. If you have a, if you give a moose a muffin, the foot book. What is this one? Oh, this one is the one little two little apples. I like that one, like in the fall, because I love apples. This one is actually my mama's favorite story, the little engine that could. Very encouraging. Um, so yeah, so I got uh, just lots of other books in here. Oh, this is another favorite from my childhood, the little critter. Just going to the dentist. This one. Um, just me and my dad. Y'all, AJ has learned how to open up the refrigerator. And he just came in here with a Capri Sun. Oh my lord, what am I going to do? Alright, so. Yeah, let's turn this around. So we can actually see the books. Yeah, so these are the books I got in here. And this one is Boom Chicka Rock. <laughs> So yeah, ooh, that's a really old one. Clifford, Ducks and Mug, Bearsting Bears, Little Critter. So like the Sesame Street, Bearsting Bears, Little Critter, those are my books from when I was little. Um, yeah, so I love those. Um, I was just getting ready to say, where is my favorite book though from when I was little? And here it is, My Messy Room. <laughs> because when I was little, y'all, I had a messy room. <laughs> And so when book fair came, my mama made sure she got me this book. <laughs> and I love this book too, Shades of Black. I love this. Um, I haven't read it to the boys yet because I honestly, I forgot I had it in here. Because I had been wondering, do I have that book or do I need to keep that book? And I do have it. So yeah, make sure I leave that out so I can read that to the boys. So we can be proud of our Shades of Black. Um, so yeah, so then other books. So that's those, and as they always say, wait, there's more. And the other books that I have, these are the ones that I haven't set out yet, like for the boys, because these are kind of like higher level or books that I'm not really interested in like this one i hate this story um because <laughs> it's just it's terrible it's depressing um yeah so these are not really the best books to read to them at the age that they are now um but they'll be here when they get older um i used to love reading the black lagoon books so yeah i got a few of those look i got cloudy with a chance of meatballs i love that book too um i even have some um some math books and um is that i think that one is a math book too so yeah things like like that and then novels you know like the giver and uh oh al capone does my shirt i haven't even read all of that one um yeah this is a workbook from my little toy computer that i had when i was little it came with a workbook that that's a book about the Flag, ooh, inch by inch. I like that book. Pocahontas. That's another book on math. I actually used this book um, on my third graders. We learned, um, you know, multiplication, like that one. So use books to teach math. It was cool. So yeah, so these are just other books. This book here, I never got. I never understood that at all. Um, yeah, Barbie. I was a Barbie fan. Yeah. But yeah, so these are. All the books that I have. Oh my gosh, this one's on first day of school. I even read that one to my middle schoolers. Um, yeah. I used to love this book when I was little. Um, yeah, you can see I was, I really used it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to like, um, Richard Scary. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And this book I actually got from an author um, when I was visiting um, Books A Million one day. And I was just sitting there browsing. There was They was having um, an author signing. And so the author, um, Debbie Toporoff, I actually met with her and talked with her a little bit. Um, 
you know, because I was telling her that I was a teacher and, you know, I'm, all, I'm always looking for books to have in my classroom. And so, um, so she was giving away copies of her book, signed copies. And so she signed a book, AJ. <laughs> so she signed the book. And, um, so this book, it's a children's book, but it's a 3D book, which is what I thought was like really, really cool. So the kids can read the books. And, you know, and see the pictures in 3D. We'll see if the effect works on camera. <laughs> this might be one I, I can go ahead and pull out for um, AJ to enjoy. And this may not work on camera. Yeah, it's, and yeah, it's not going to work on camera. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a 3D book. So, I may not read the story to AJ just yet. Because that's, that's a lot for his <laughs> attention span at this age. So we may just go through and just look at the pictures using the glasses. He'll think that's cool. Um, but yeah. So yeah, and I got like really old textbooks like from the 1980s and things like that. And these textbooks and yeah. I used to like this book too my parents got me. It's, you know, like science stuff. So it's just kind of like a little reference book to go to look at um, science type stuff. Um, I had got this book for my classroom that's got like a you know like pretend um <laughs> uh, uh historical documents in it and then we all know this book the polar express um this is actually my favorite arthur um uh-huh arthur. Uh arthur um chris van allsburg the author name is not the front but yeah there he is uh well not the wolf but yeah, the name Chris Van Allsburg. Um, yeah, as a kid, yeah, he was my favorite author, and my favorite Chris Van Allsburg book was um The Stranger. I like The Stranger, and I like Two Bad Ants. But I like The Stranger because it was like one of those stories that after you read it, you're like, wait a minute, I know what's going on, and you have to really catch it and pay attention to the story. So I like stuff like that. So yeah, I got more textbooks down there. And then this novel, I love the series. Um, yeah, so my time is about to run out because my camera is running out of memory. But yeah, so these are the books that I have for my kids. And we're just steady adding more. AJ, you like your books? Alright, tell everybody bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh yeah, and another book. This isn't really like a book to read, obviously. But um, I got this at Target, and it's a wipe clean workbook. And so, yes, I'm, I'm working with AJ to, you know, start with his handwriting or whatnot. Because he knows that this is A. He knows big A, small A. He knows apple, and arrow. Yeah, he knows all that. He knows the colors, blue, yellow. He knows all of that. So now I'm working on getting him to actually write. So we can use a dry erase marker and erase. And the cool thing is, um, I have a little progress report for him in the back. So based on how he do on page one, either a star for he mastered it, mm -hmm. smiley face for, you know, you're getting better at it, keep working, or check a check for great start. So yeah, so it includes shapes and um, numbers, yeah and other vocabulary so yeah and I'll go into more vocabulary and actual reading in my video how to teach your baby to read even though I gave you a little tip on that just now oh yeah and these are some other things too that I got the help and these are dry erase also oh yeah and I printed this out he loves this book Baby oh. animals. Don't you like that book? Yeah, baby animals. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get you to read that to everybody. Baby animals.